Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. This week I'll be going over some slow pitch jigging from the kayak. I appreciate all the love and support I've got recently from starting this channel. And I hope you guys stay tuned for more videos coming in the future. If you stay tuned to the end of this video, I'll be going over my rod, my reel, and how I rig up my jigs for slow pitch jigging. Uh, nice little tune I got there, Pompano Beach in 350 feet of water. Caught it on the Johnny Jigs. Uh, like I said, I'm new to this whole YouTube thing. I actually thought I was turning the camera off right here, but I left it on. But luckily enough, I got some good footage of actual way I jig and a hook up at the end of the video. Only bad part about it is towards the end of the video, when I actually thought I was turning the camera on, I was turning it off. So I missed the whole catch of a nice big tuna. But I will show you a picture of it towards the end of the video. Now like I said, I'm in about 350 foot of water here. So I'm gonna drop the jig all the way down to the bottom. Uh, it's important to keep your thumb on the reel while dropping down. Keeps the jig going down straight and gets you right down to the bottom. I don't spend that much time on the bottom because I've been hooking a lot of sharks recently, but I do stay down there a little bit. And you can see I use the reel to jig because the rod will load and unload on its own. Then I'll stop here and I'll slow pitch a little bit. using the reel to jig and also stopping the slow pitch along the way. My jig's probably about 150 feet deep right now. That's right in the strike zone. Now I feel a bite here so I know I'm in a good area and I don't get a hookup so I'm going to drop the big jig back down a few feet and work that area again. This is a really easy way to get hookups because once you get a bite, you're pretty much going to hook up sooner or later. And like that, there it is. Stay tuned for the rest of the video where I'll go over all the slow pitch techniques and my rod and reel setup. Hey guys and girls, how you doing? Welcome back to Real Rolls Fishing. I hope you guys liked that video. Uh, one thing you got to remember about slow pitch and jigging, fishing in general, is it's a style that's your own. There's no right or wrong way to do it. The way you saw in the video is how it feels comfortable for me to do out of the kayak. Traditionally, people can stand up, will jig with the rod and reel at the same time. But me, my shoulder gets tired, it's uncomfortable. I find them high sticking too much, so I just started jigging with the reel. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Any tips or anything you have questions about, I'll be glad to answer. Now, as far as the rod goes, and reel, this is my setup right here. This is a Ocean Jigger 2000 Shimano and a Temple Reef Levity. It's the 68-2 uh, model. I'm not an expert on rods and reels. I bought this as a used setup. It's a good way to get into the jigging because this setup is probably about a thousand dollars brand new. So I'm not gonna tell you what I paid, but it was enough because the wife is washing. One good tip you can get when you're transferring your rod, especially if you're in a boat, is a jig wrap. The jig simply goes inside the wrap and you can put it around the rod. You can see there's not a good place to hook this jig to. I don't want this 200 grams of lead bouncing around on my $500 rod. Now, as far as this rod here, this is my normal vertical jigging rod. You can see it's a lot bigger and heavier. 
my tip for the week is this jig right here. A lot of different names for it. This is what they'll call a casting jig. I just leave it in the rod holder, about midway in the water column, and it catches tuna, just like that. Just set it and forget it. All right, and as for the connection, This is how I started tying my jigs. I'll tie a knot right to a swivel, right to a snap ring. The benefits are this, besides the swivel, is you can easily change out your jigs without retying the knot. This is how I just started keeping my jigs recently. This is all my slow push stuff. You can see I have multiple jigs in here, nice and dry. Okay, and as I was saying, the ease of having this swivel is changing the jig out. A lot of people change colors, sizes, shapes, depending on the current. Simple snap ring pliers. A lot of pliers have these built into the end of them. And that's it right there. I keep all my jigs rigged up with bottom hooks only. That way, an option to leave this hooked onto my rod all the time. And I can pick up whatever jig I'm going to use that day or for that time being, depending on the current. Well, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions about the rigging techniques, anything I shared here, please feel free to comment and look forward to next week. I don't know if some of you guys follow me on my Instagram. You'll see I caught a big sailfish last weekend. And I got some really good clips of it. I'm going to do a video of just a sailfish catch. Tight lines. Thank you.